we have made it past the January transfer window relatively unscathed as Wrexham continue their push towards the Premier League. No major signings in or out. We didn't have any money to spend anyway, so Deadpool's been very quiet this January transfer window. But we're going to focus back on our promotion push as we're going to bring you two games from the Championship. What's going on guys? My name is Adam, I am a Super Swan, and welcome to episode 47 of the FM21 Deadpool Diaries. Still top of the league, still unbeaten, as Wrexham continue towards the promised land of the Premier League. 18 points clear of Leeds United, 19 points clear of Burnley. And the two sides we'll be playing today are two very winnable games. The first one is bottom of the league, Luton Town. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more, more Football Manager 2021 content, drop a subscribe on this channel. Leave a like on the video as we hopefully will be in the Premier League this time next season. So like I say, no transfers in or out really to report. We made it through that real tough run of games towards the end of December. And there was only one real casualty, and his name is Ben Young. He's going to be out for the next two to five weeks with a torn hamstring. And I'll show you the games since you last left us. So we had the game against Spurs and Bournemouth. We beat Leeds 3-1, Burnley 2-0. And we rounded up the year with a 4-1 win over Sheffield Wednesday. We did invite Preno back to Newcastle. He didn't play that game either. He was injured. So we still haven't gone up against Preno since he left us. But it was a 93rd minute Jamie Lawrence winner that got us through to the fourth round. We beat West Brom 2-0, drew against Nottingham Forest. But we did get revenge against Watford with a 4-0 win away from home at Vicarage Road. This was the side that we lost in the playoff final to last year, and we smashed them 4-0. I tell you, this is Wrexham's year, and we've had 2-0 wins against Coventry and Walsall, and that has put us 18 points clear at the top. So this is going to be the lineup against bottom of the league Luton. We've got Soto in goal, Bello, Lawrence, Bednarek, and Bogle at the back, Barlow and White in the middle, with Malakar, Relish, and Knight on the right-hand side. Giza Jarvis, still the championship's top goal scorer. So it is all going right for Wrexham right now. We just need to see it through for the next two to three months, and we will be a Premier League team. We're going to tell the team, pump the fists. We are the favourites. I have faith in you. Go out there and make the difference. And we are going to get this game underway at the race course. Top of the table, Wrexham. Against bottom of the table, Luton Town. As we start with a highlight two minutes in. And there are some familiar names in the Luton Town side. One of them being Elliot List. Our former most expensive player of the save. He was down with us in the National League. So we may see a cameo from Elliot List today, as Luton are on the ball, Sidler plays it to Morel, Knight wins the ball back, right, come on, let's get an early goal, let's show Luton Town why we're going to be in the Premier League next year, and they're going to be in League One, as Bogle holds up the ball for Martin Relish, to Harvey White, waiting for the right player to make the right pass, Jarvis in the box, it's a save from the keeper. Corner for Wrexham, 16 minutes. Harvey White crosses it in. Knight with a header. And that is the first goal for Wrexham. As Ben Knight does make it 1-0 to the Dragons. And top of the table, Wrexham are looking strong in this game. It's a simple corner, straight to Knight. Headers it in. 1-0 Wrexham. Bree with a throw in to Campbell. Luton looking to get an immediate equaliser. But Ben Narek clears it away again. Bednarek and Lawrence are two centre-backs. 
are still in the top three of average ratings in the championship, as that's a through ball, but it's no problem for Ruben Soto, our Colombian wonder kid goalkeeper, who we signed this season. Relish loses out the ball. It was a bit of a big touch from him, but Jarvis does get this back. Jarvis in the box, and Jarvis makes it too. He is the championship's top goal scorer for a reason. And Giza Jarvis doubles our lead. I thought Rale should give the ball away cheaply here, but Morel passes it straight to Giza Jarvis in the box, puts it in the corner, 2 0 up. Starting with Bello, tries to find Malakar, and he does get the ball. Malakar finds Harvey White with a shot. Ooh, I thought that was 3 0. White from the corner, same position as the first goal, but he goes back post instead. It's an easy slave. Easy slave! I try to say save and slugger at the same time there, hence the uh, easy slave comment on that one. But Davis into our half, finds Mapanzu, through ball to Davis. Easy save for Soto. Free kick for Exum, just outside the Luton Town box, and it's Martin Relish who steps up, and he hits the post. Unlucky from our young Welsh homegrown player. Five minutes to go before half-time, and Wrexham have been the dominant side, and we are well-deserved for our 2-0 lead. I really hope we don't concede a, a first goal before half-time, because that would be a little bit of a different team talk, 2-0 compared to 2-1, as Bree blocks the cross. White now has the chance to get this away. Bello now... Out to Ben Knight. We're on the counter. I can see a player making the run. It's Giza Jarvis, but can't quite find the through ball. But we do win this ball back and we'll get another chance. Giza Jarvis in the box and he does make it three. And what a season Giza Jarvis is having today. Or well, not even just today. What a season he's having all year. As we do make it 3-0 to Wrexham. Relish finds Callum Barlow. Through ball, in the box, strikes it with power, and that is goal number three. Coming up to half-time, a very convincing performance for Wrexham. 3-0 up, Jarvis is in the box, he almost makes it four. Could have been offside, but he actually wasn't. And I can go into half-time very confident that we are going to walk away with three points today. We might even have a chance to extend that lead at the top of the championship, depending on other results. That's not going to be a penalty. That's going to go out for a throw. Can we get to half-time? Let's give the team talk. Let's praise the side for a good performance so far today. I can say I'm very pleased with how things are going. And this might give us the opportunity to rest some players. So I think we will bring off maybe Martin Relish. He's on 6.7 anyway. We'll bring on Carbonek to play as advanced playmaker. One sub made. Keep things as they are. We're already 3-0 up. Free kick from White. Puts it into the box. Jamie Lawrence off the crossbar. Almost making it four. And that was how he scored the goal against Newcastle to get us through to the FA Cup fourth round. Very similar from a set piece. Except for that time, he managed to convert it to a goal. But Luton on the attack. Bree gets it to Davis. Heads it over. Bogle now finds Carbonek off the bench. Like I said, I'm looking to maybe rest some more players in the next couple of minutes. So maybe even bring off Giza Jarvis. Maybe bring off the likes of Knight. He's had a good game today. Carlin Barlow goes down. That's a penalty. And Giza Jarvis could get a hat trick today if he does score from the spot. Giza Jarvis, he does score from the spot. 4-0 to Wrexham. It's a hat-trick for Giza Jarvis. As I mentioned, there's a reason why he is the championship top goal scorer. 4-0 to Wrexham. Coming up to 70 minutes now, and I am going to make these changes. I'm going to bring on... I'm going to bring Malakar off. I'll move Giza Jarvis out to the wing. Bring Huriez off the bench to be the striker. Bogle's not having a good game, but we'll see how things go in the next 10 minutes before we make our last sub. Willock from the corner. Puts it in. 
headed away again by Bednarek. And Huriez is the first on the scene. He's just come off the bench. He's very fresh. He's got pace for days. What can Huriez do on this left-hand side? He wins himself a penalty. And you know what? Huriez, you're going to take that penalty. You earned that yourself, right? You've only got nine for penalty taken. But you've earned that penalty. So can Huriez make it five from the spot? He steps up. Can he make it five? He can indeed. Wrexham five. Luton Town nil. Huriez earned the penalty. He will take it. Wrexham now 5-0 up. And we still have 15 minutes left to go. Free kick from White. Puts it in the box. Headed away. Davis first on the scene. And Luton Town have a chance to break here. He's got the defence to beat. Finds Wiles. 1-2. Davis is through. He's broken through the defence. And he does get a goal. And that is a consolation goal for Luton Town. Who do strike us on the counter from our own set piece. And Davis did really well here. Fine Wiles. It was a 1-2. Confused our centre-backs. He gets a low shot away. 5-1 the score. We lose our clean sheet. Last change of the day. Who's it going to be? We will bring off... I think we'll bring off... Giza Jarvis. We'll bring off Giza Jarvis. We'll bring Christine on for him. The backup left back. Did we tell you about Christine? I may not have told you about Ben Christine. We got him on loan from Aston Villa. So, yeah. He's on loan. We got we got rid of the Everton winger. We got him in. So, I think that's the only transfers we did. But, welcome to our new player. <laughs> he's the only one to talk about. But, uh, yeah, he's coming on. And, uh, I think it was Garbutt. Was it Garbutt? I can't remember who it was now. We had a, a winger on loan from Everton we got rid of. And we brought Christine in on instead. So, that's the only... Uh, New player to report. Yeah, he won't get that many games. He's not that important. But Karbanek, he's through. Karbanek's run all the way the length of the pitch. Finds Huriez. Puts it wide. Campbell for Luton in the midfield. White intercepts. And we've got a lot of players bombing forward here. Barlow's got Bello coming inside. He's got lots of options. But he does lose out the ball. Gets it back. Callum Barlow to George Bello. The left back to Barlow. Christine in the box. And Christine gets it in. The new loney. We've got him in. He's mainly a left back. But he can play left wing as well. Makes it six. And what a dominating performance this is. I know Luke to the bottom of the league. Right. That's not saying. But we've still put in a very professional performance. Christine puts it under the keeper. 6-1. Full time coming, very professional performance from Wrexham. 6 1 the score. I know it's bottom of the league, Luke Dunn, but we've only could only beat the teams that are put in front of us. So we did do a very good job. But what does that mean for the league table? We were 18 points clear when we started off the day. We are now 20 points clear. Burnley drew their game. Leeds oh Leeds and Burnley played each other. So that's the best result we could have asked for. So we're now 20 points clear of Leeds. 21 points clear of Burnley. We might get promoted before like the end of March. That could happen if things stay the way they are. We have tried, we're going to try and get Ben Young for a third year. So if we do get promoted, I do want to get Ben Young involved in the side. Jarvis scores a hat-trick. We'll put our arms around him. Superb in front of goal. Malakar, he's been scouted. But uh, but yeah, we're going to go into our next championship game. 20 points clear of Leeds. 21 clear of Burnley. We are flying towards the Premier League. Our next opposition is Reading away from home. The team that we beat in the playoff semi-finals last season. And we've only made one change for that game. And it is the goal scorer, Ben Christine. He comes in for George Bello, as he does, does have a high injury risk. I know Giza Jarvis does have high injury risk as well, but he scored a hat-trick in the last game. I can't bring him off. He's on 28 goals for the season. But let's carry on this, uh, this promotion march, this title-winning march, this unbeaten season march towards the end of the season so i'm going to tell the team pick up where you left off last time out we'll pump the fists 
I have faith in you. Go out there and make the difference. And can we carry on that goal-scoring golden form against Reading away from home? Reading our 16th place in the league. We're top of the league. Let's get two wins from two. First chance of the game, and it's a throw in to Reading, which Martin Relish does deal with. Giza Jarvis goes out to Malakar. Comes inside. He's got players to pick from, but he loses out the ball and pumps it right back upfield to Bogle. As we will have to start the move again. We'll have to find a new way to try and unlock the Reading defence as Ben Knight dances around the players. But it's an easy save for Krellin. Christine finds Martin Relish. Ball in the box on Bogle on his own. Another easy save for the keeper. Pumps it upfield. I thought that might be the end of the highlight, but it's not. We carry on going as Malakar finds Ben Knight. Bogle's on the overlap, but he goes inside instead. Does find Bogle, who puts it in the box. Headed away. And Reddy now got a chance to counter. We've got players back, but if they play a through ball, we could be undone. And there's the through ball. Rolls outside the box. Finds field, puts it into Swift. But our defence does deal with it. Half-time approaching. We are dominating the game. 10 shots, 6 on target. 62% possession. But we just haven't seen a goal to go along with it. So I'm going to say I'm not happy with the performance. And who are the players letting us down? Giza Jarvis, Ben Knight on 6.3. We're going to bring on Lahadji for Ben Knight because that's our weakness. We're going to go a little bit more direct to try and force the game a little bit. We're going to move the defensive line a bit further up as well. Just to kind of push the game a little bit forward. We've got attacking. Let's try and find this winning goal. Christine from the throw. Head throws it straight to Redin. But it's alright because we've won the ball back. Jarvis finds Lahaji. Lahaji shoots. There's the opening goal. And the whole throw in straight to Redin paid off fantastically. It was the plan all along. That was the plan the whole time. Swift gives the ball to Barlow. He holds it up for a bit, finds Harvey White, a little bit of short passing. Lehaji first time shot. 1-0 to Wrexham. Callum Barlow's picked up an injury. It's a potential foot injury. So we'll have to watch out for that. Hopefully he's not going to be out for too long. We do have a like-for-like -like replacement though. So we'll move Relish back to Mazala. Soares can be the attacking midfielder. And I am going to bring the defensive line back. Because we are 1-0 up. We don't need to be as forward-thinking now that we do have a goal. But yeah, hopefully it's not serious for Callum Barlow. 80th minute. I was just about to make a sub, but we do have a highlight. As Soares puts it into the box. Misses everybody but Jarvis. Bednarek finds Harvey White. And Harvey White's made it too. That will seal all three points for Wrexham in this game. And now I can make my subs in peace. Knowing that hopefully the three points should be all in the bag. O'Shea misses his header. Bednarek finds Harvey White on his own. First time shot. Gets it in the net. That will be 2-0 to Wrexham. And now I can make my final sub of the afternoon. I think I'm going to bring Jamie Lawrence off. He's on a book in. He is looking tired. Edmondson can come on for him. All three subs made. 2-0 up. One. 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 Moment of victory to come, as we will see this through to full time together, as the 90th minute brings us a highlight. Field passes it up. Field Bednarek easy to intercept, and like I say, as long as we don't throw this away in the last four minutes, Wrexham should be all clear for three points. We do block the shot, and we do block the shot again. Red and getting a late little flurry. In the Wrexham box. But that's not going to be enough. As Wrexham do take the spoils. And we do get all three points. But what were the other results? How did Leeds and Burnley get on? So Burnley won their game. Leeds drew. So we are still 21 points clear. Of second place. 22 points clear? Yep. 22 points clear. Of Leeds in third. And that's the big one. The first to third is the automatic promotion places we've got to worry about. But 
Phil Parkinson thinks we're injuring players, but we're the one with the injured player. Barlow out for three to four weeks. So we'll be missing Callum Barlow for about a month, which alongside Ben Young, we are going to be missing two important midfielders. But look at the championship. There we go. 21 points clear of Burnley. 22 points clear of Leeds United. Giza Jarvis, still the top goal scorer. And we now have the top three players of average rating, all 7.31 in the championship. So what we'll do is we will come back for the Fulham FA Cup fifth round, followed by the Blackburn game as well. So a little bit of a jump, not much of a jump as we normally do. Only four games we're going to miss out on. But we'll come back for Fulham and Blackburn, because I reckon around this time we will know how many games to go before automatic promotion is in the bag. But there we go. Another two games unbeaten in the championship. 32 games gone. We've got another 14 to go. Can we get promoted to the Premier League with an unbeaten season? It's, it's in our hands. It's in our hands. But leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2021 content. We will be uploading Deadpool Diaries every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And tune in next time for an FA Cup 5th round tie against Fulham, alongside a game against Blackburn in the Championship. Thank you very much for watching.